All right, we're going to take a look at building our menu bar now, as well as tweaking our footer, getting our uh, copyright symbol in there. For our menu at the top, we want to make sure that we get all of our settings exactly the way we want them before we turn it into a uh, library element so we can use it on multiple pages. Uh, this is going to be a number of steps, but I hope in the end of this process you see why uh, using these steps would be so powerful when building multiple page websites. Okay, let's deal with this little guy down here first, our little copyright symbol. All right, let's go into our code view here, and you see it's highlighted. All right, let's get rid of that. And the, to get a copyright symbol, it's real simple. It's... Uh, the and sign, so shift 7 to get the and sign, and then just copy the word copy semicolon. So when we go back to design view, you'll see we have a nice copyright symbol right there. All right, now let's tweak this text right up here, our, our menu text. This is a chance for us to really uh, hone down exactly the way we want our menu to look before we take it and duplicate this over tons and tons of pages. We want to really give it a chance to get it exactly the way we want it. So what I'll do is go ahead and um, we're going to remove the style. Okay, Let me bring up my um, palettes here. So I'm going to go to this where it says P, so it's highlighted, and I'm going to say none. Okay, We have no style attached to this. When you do that, it's going to go black because uh, it's black text on a black background, so obviously you're not going to see it. But we're going to go to this div tag, and that's where we'll make some of these tweaks. All right. So let's we'll select the style sheet. We'll add a new style rule. Okay. This one is going to be called dot menu. All right. And I'm going to show you how to add to this as well. So let's pick a color. I'm going to pick a really uh, super bright, obnoxious color just so I know I have it working. Everything is supposed to do what it's supposed to do. All right, we're going to say Arial uh, for our font. I think we're going to go with uh, 14. Let's try 12. Okay, weight is going to be normal. No decoration. This is really, really important um, because these are eventually going to become links. We want to make sure that uh, absolutely no decoration is on there. So we don't want any underline. We want to make this a very clean and stylized, very um, very elegant menu. Okay, so I made that. It's called dot menu. What I need to do, and this is very important, you should see a div tag. If you don't see a div tag, what we need to do is find the text up here that is your menu and wrap it around a div tag. So um, just like we did earlier, you have a div, a bracket, and then you close the tag like this. Okay, That's really important. So make sure that there is a div tag. Okay, Have it selected. Just come down here and click on div. And for the class, this is your style sheet, we're going to choose menu. And there it is. So the problem is we need to have these linked to something so we can test it, make sure our links are working correctly. Well, to do that, let me highlight the word home. Down here where it says link, I'm going to put in the pound sign, just like that. So shift 3, the pound sign. I'll hit enter. Notice how it turned this dark blue. Well, that's not good. I want it to stay this light blue. So what we have to do is modify our style sheet. Okay, so let's um, let's double click on the style site underscore CSS. And where it says menu, we're going to add to this. So we're going to say menu comma dot menu A for active, uh, uh, A for uh, anchor, which is also the link code A. We're going to say um, link comma dot menu a colon we also want visited okay and you can also do active so we'll just go ahead and do that now what these are are modifications of this existing style so we're saying anywhere that you use a dot menu if it's a link do the same as this if it's a, um, a hyperlink that you've already clicked do this. If it's the current hyperlink, 
do this. So now we'll take a look at this. We'll see they are all the matched up now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this file. We'll preview it. Okay, and you can see when I put my mouse over this one, I get the little finger, which means it's a link. Okay, the rest of these are not links yet, but that's okay. We just want to test it out on one. All right, one more thing I want to add, and that is a hover. And this is a pseudo class, okay? So I'm going to add a hover to this. Uh, let's just go ahead and edit the text by copy and pasting. It'll be much faster. So we'll just highlight all this, copy, paste, and we're going to remove all but the last one, and we're going to call this A colon hover. And in this instance, I'm going to make the color white. Okay, and You can do this a couple of ways. You can come in here and put in a colon and that way it'll force it to bring up the color picker or you could have just typed in um, six F's to make that white. Alright, let's save this. Close it. Save it. Preview. And as you can see when I roll over I get a very handsome looking uh, menu. Very elegant, very clean. You can add some background to this. Anything on that style sheet you want to add, you can add to this. So uh, you can have a lot of fun with this. All right. What I'm going to do next is create a library element. I'm going to do that in the next lesson. This way we can pull this menu out of this actual file and store it away for use on multiple pages that are all linked back to the one uh, element.